That nut job is trying to blow up the airplane. Step on it, man. We aren't going to make it. Uh-oh. So much for a happy ending. Welcome to the Highway Patrol. You're playing in the roles of Seymour Gherkin and Ben Jaeger. Both are detectives and partners in service of the Highway Patrol. There are many missions and cases waiting for you. Duty calls. Drive to the police department first. The operations waiting for you require you to complete certain objectives. For example, keep a time limit, inflict as few damage on cars and property, Collide with a perpetrator, make him stop or shoot his car. Drive in races, jumping over ramps, tailing suspects. When you enter the game pause, you can check on the objectives you currently have to accomplish or which you have already completed. You now get the opportunity to train in certain assignments. The training is voluntary and you'll receive accurate instructions on how to make another car stop, how to use the drone and how you can shoot at other cars. If you'd like to know, for example, how you turn on the siren, use the nitro on the handbrake or change the camera view, you can open a menu at any time during the missions to follow. Here you pick one point and have the feature explained to you. Your goal is not only to successfully absolve the tasks, but also as good as possible. Every mission is rated up to five stars. If you can keep five stars, this is outstanding. It'll cost you stars if you don't meet the requirements and they are being changed in favor of you. You can successfully complete missions even without receiving any stars, but it won't influence your overall rating positively. You'll soon get the chance to learn more about your rating. Have fun with the roles of Simir and Ben. Good morning, Detective. And a very good morning to you too, Detective. So what's the news? How about breakfast? Sounds great. Let's look for a bakery. Use these buttons when... all units. There goes breakfast. Hold up in the parking lot of the central bank. A luxury sedan has been stolen. Perpetrator fled the scene ten minutes ago. Again? That's the third time in two weeks. Yep, time to put a stop to this guy.
Looks like it. How do we want to stop him? What do you think? Cut him off! He's got so many horses under the hood, he'll just push us out of the way. Then we'll have to see whose car can take more. What? Wreck it? But it's such a gorgeous set of wheels. You got any better ideas? How about we just knock? Maybe he'll give up. Hey, before you break out in tears over the dents in the car, we'll give it a try. Thank you, Mr. Gherkin. Bingo! He's given up! So, let's take him back to the precinct. HQ, this is Cobra 11. We have the car thief. Send somebody to secure the car. We'll have a chat with our friend about him stealing such nice cars. Roger. Cobra 11. I ain't got nothing to say. Oh, we've got a little way to drive, pal. And we're both good listeners, really. Did you steal the other cars too? I want to speak to my attorney. Damn, no reception here. Me neither. So, you stole the other cars? No. Of course not. What were you gonna do with the car? Sell it. To who? Some guy, he's interested in these cars. Why? What do I care as long as he pays? We'll put in a good word for you. So, when and where were you supposed to deliver the car? Huh? This evening, at the container harbor. All right, there you go. I told you we were good listeners. Hey, Mike. How's it looking, buddy? Hey, Simir. Good that you're here. Ah, oh, been causing trouble again, have ya? Driving too fast? Sure, but that's not the problem. I've just got a parking ticket. Got it. So will you tell me when and where you've got your next happy hour? Nope. Because if I win my duel against Tito, I can pay off the ticket. Okay, Mike. Then what are you offering? I'll spill the beans a little if you bring me to my buddy's auto workshop. This is a cop car, not a taxi. I know, but I need witness protection as well. You're really irresistible, you know that? Come on, get in. All right, Mike, start talking. A few weeks ago, these two really, really odd guys showed up. You mean at your secret nighttime events or at your club? They're official members of the Tuner Club. But aren't you all odd guys? They really were odd. Always on the road together, didn't seem to have a job. Working all day on their wheels. Not only theirs either, other people's too. Uh-huh. And you have no idea where they're getting the money for the parts from? Nope, but there's some serious cash moving around, and they're not putting it in performance, volume, and finish. In what, then? They're reinforcing and securing the bodywork. They're putting together remote control systems so they can have the cars driven for them instead of sitting at the wheel themselves. And you think there's something cooking? I'm pretty sure there is. I fetched something from this car for one of them, and I found a piece under the passenger's seat. Piece? Muller and Schultz, 9 millimeters. Can you describe the two more accurately? Not really posers, more introverted types. Don't talk much, but they sure are brutal in the duels. Names? I can give you names, but I'm pretty sure they're false ones. 
Could you keep an eye on them for us? That'll be hard. You know that some of the guys in the club get real suspicious. Don't want to risk having my cover as a snitch being blown. How do you become a member in your club? Just sign up, prove that you have a tuned set of wheels, pay your annual fee and drive a duel against a member. Just like with rabbit breeders. Yep. It ain't a problem to become a member, but you got to earn respect and recognition from the guys. By being in the top ranks? Right at the top is best. What do you think, Seymour? Should we get on board? Well, first might you get off board and we'll run the names. Suzanne, dear. Anything special going on? Not right now, Samir, dear. Just drive out of the precinct. We'll let you know if anything comes up. By the book. Nice change. Samir, let's take a quick spin and then stop for breakfast. I haven't eaten yet. Hey, Ben, do you see that? Hey, is he out of his mind? I'll turn on the sirens. He's hightailing it. HQ, we got a possible robbery. We're in pursuit. Send a patrol to our position to question the truck driver who was attacked. Got for casualties. We didn't have a chance. I'm sure we'll meet again. Samir, Ben, you got a meeting place from the car thief, didn't you? Yeah, Chief. And if we want to get to the masterminds behind these crimes, this would be the perfect opportunity. I don't think we have enough manpower to be able to secure this meeting. We were thinking one of us could play the car thief. He's never met his client in person and we have the car. You want to go undercover to get at the people behind this? Why not? Agreed. But one of you will have to do this alone. Ben will do it. Ben? No problem. All right. But be careful, Ben. And call for backup if things get dicey. Understood.
Damn, the uniforms. Looks like they think I'm the car thief. If I stop now and explain everything, I'll never get to the rendezvous on time. I better make sure to lose them. Okay, seems I got rid of that problem. I hope I'll still be on time. You aren't like I imagined you, Rico. Do you want a date, or do you want the car? Haha. <laughs> All right, buddy. Everything go off without a hitch? Sure, look at the car. It even went through the car wash. Yeah, looks good. What are you going to do with this baby? That's none of your business. Sorry, I was born curious. You don't happen to have another job for me. I do, but first, I want to know if you're any good. Are you up for a little driving test? Always. All right, Rico. Take my car and put the pedal to the metal. I don't have to tell you that I don't want even a scratch on it. Of course not. Trust me. Okay, okay, you're good. That much is clear. Well, do you have another job for me? Yeah, I'll call you tomorrow. I don't know the model yet. Tell me, are you in this on your own, or do you have regular clients? 
That is still none of your business. Sorry, just curious. Suzanne, do you have anything on the truck and its driver? The truck belongs to a transport company, and they've been attacked a lot lately. The driver said this is the third time for him. Thanks, Suzanne. Let's take a look at the transport company, shall we? Chief, this is Ben. Have you spoken with anyone from the transport company? Yep, we talked to the boss. Their trucks were attacked time and again and they were always carrying particularly valuable cargo like PCs, flat screen TVs, cameras. So the robberies were planned and not random. The boss thinks an insider is behind all this. He suspects one of his own drivers. We're going to track him down. Okay, Ben. Keep me up to date. Seymour, the driver's on the road now. How can we find him as quickly as possible? Good old detective work. You mean comb the roads? Exactly! That's not him. That's not him either.
Next, please. Ben, I think that's him. Finally. I'm feeling homesick. Let's head back to the precinct. You're a big cop already, you know? But I want to. All right then. He wasn't very talkative. I really find it hard to believe he's got anything to do with the attacks. Yeah, unlikely. He wouldn't have handed over the cell phone he found after the last attack if he was involved. But if one of the perps really lost this cell, it could give us new leads. You won't dig up anything without the pen. Hold on. There you go. No pen needed. Uh-huh. Found anything yet? There's a text message here. A meeting with Charlie at the highway rest area. Probably for trucker's breakfast. Who knows? 